Okay, so today we are going to make a traditional chocolate sponge. And the reason I've chosen a traditional recipe is it requires the creaming of sugar and fat together using a wooden spoon. So this is a chance for me to use my wooden spoon that I made to make a cake. So we need to start with 175 grams of caster sugar. And the recipe calls for 175 grams of butter or margarine. Now I'm using Flora Freedom because I need to make this for people who require a dairy-free cake. Obviously you can use butter here, but you'd need to have that probably at room temperature to make it soft enough to fold in. So I need 175 grams of fat. So 350 in total. And now using the wooden spoon, we're just going to combine those two things together. Now normally when I make cakes these days, I just use an all-in-one recipe, so I just put everything in the dish and combine it using a food mixer. But this is the method that people used before food mixers were popular or commonplace. And it does require a little bit more elbow grease. So all of the sugar is now combined with the fat, but probably not as well mixed as it should be yet. So we're just gonna keep on going now. That's it, and we start to get a creamy texture. That's good. Okay, now we need three eggs, which we will add one at a time to this mixture. I'll just crack those into a glass so that I don't get any pieces of shell in my cake. So first egg goes in, and we have to combine that into the sugar and fat mixture. And we're trying to create an emulsion here, I suppose, really. That's good. Okay, now we're ready for egg number two. I'd forgotten how hard work this actually is. Okay, now egg number three. Okay, so next we need to add the flour. To the mix but also the cocoa powder so I'm gonna I've got 225 grams of flour here and I'm gonna add in two generous tablespoons of cocoa powder and now we're gonna sift that into the batter mix you can probably get that all in there Okay, the recipe also calls for a pinch of salt and a dash of milk. I'm using lactose-free milk here, obviously, because as I say, I've got to make this for somebody who's lactose intolerant. Now we gently fold this flour in. I can't stir it too vigorously or else this would go everywhere. So we're going to just Fold it to start with until it isn't dry and powdery anymore. I'm just going to give this enough of a stir to make sure there are no lumps of flour, but no more than that because I don't want to overwork this or else it will go like bread. Nice. Okay. Okay, and then my mixture is just going to be baked in a 180 degree oven, 180 degrees C. 
in this tin, which has got a reusable baking liner inside of it. So let's just drop that mixture into there. This is the bit where I probably do need a different tool now. So let's see how that comes out then. So the spoon held up pretty well there I'd say. This really really did take me back to my childhood though actually where this is how we made cakes when my mum was making cakes for me. We had to get the sugar and the fat to combine with a wooden spoon and lots of elbow grease. Our reward if we helped out was that we got to uh, we got to lick the spoon and the bowl afterwards. And yes, I'm eating raw egg. Get over it. Mm. So let's give this a little wash up and see how well it's survived on, see how well it's fared. So the chocolate has stained the oak a little bit, but I don't mind that at all. This is a kind of living implement and over time it's going to acquire a patina. So there we go, I think that might be the weirdest, wonkiest chocolate cake I've ever made. Which is a bit appropriate really considering this is also probably the weirdest, wonkiest spoon anyone's ever made. But like the spoon, this chocolate cake is the work of my hands. And there is a certain satisfaction in that, even when the result is a little bit weird and wonky. So I'm just going to now enjoy a slice of my homemade chocolate cake. It's got cherry jam in the middle, which is going to be tasty. With a cup of coffee and warm glow of satisfaction. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.